Last night, the U.S. national soccer team for the deaf took on the Perdido Bay Football Club's U-17 team. The exhibition was a 2-2 draw, but wins for this team aren't measured by the scoreboard. Soccer is a part of Ken McDonald's life, but the most enjoyment the 54-year-old coach has had on the field is when his players can't hear what he's saying. I've been involved in soccer for 50 years as a player and as a coach, and this is without doubt the best experience of my life. The U.S. national deaf soccer team was established in 1965, and they've been striking people ever since. These guys are an inspiration to everybody. These are total top quality athletes, and um, everybody we come against and play against, they're all surprised just how good these guys are. Forward Ken Knoll lost his hearing when he was just three years old. My parents, you know, just found out about it, just arbitrarily vacuuming the room and realizing that I wasn't hearing, and, and that's how they found out. Team captain Mike Lawson lost his hearing even earlier. I was born deaf, but my parents didn't find out until I was six months old, so I was just a baby and I couldn't hear, and they don't know why or how I became deaf. But Noel Lawson and the 16 other players on the team didn't let a little thing like sound stop them from making noise on the soccer field. Woo! Passion for soccer, just something that's here and in your mind. Um, you just love to do it and you want to be out and you want to smell the grass and you want to play in 100 degree heat. That's that passion. A passion that can't be heard, only felt. We're coming down to the ground There's no good place